Let's go around here. I've moved. I live in Nelson, the very top of the South Island. Welcome to another exciting episode. So this is literally the top of the South Island behind me. Over there is Abel Tasman National Park and the mountains are kind of visible. We've got clouds rolling in and I've been trying to capture them over the last couple of days while we've been here. This is a house sitting gig. We're not this flash. We've bought a house, but it doesn't have this view. Let's go into it a bit more, shall we? I'm driving half the length of New Zealand to move into a house that I bought over the internet. All right, here I am with Jess Bell. Say hi, Jess. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a coffee yet, leave me alone. Yeah. So the plan is there is an Auckland border and that's one of the COVID restrictions in New Zealand. There's more COVID cases in Auckland, so they put a border around the whole city. So there's only a few exceptions um, for leaving the border. You get exemptions or in our case, we're making a permanent move. So we've got documents to prove that and we're hoping that it works out. And then in about two weeks, the border will open anyway. <laughs> so surreal. Mm. Where do we? Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Where are you off to? Uh, Nelson. Nelson. We yeah. bought a house. Oh, you're moving? <laughs> We're moving. Oh, and then we got your documents. Oh, uh, no, just, sorry, there's an office just on that side. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Yeah, what am I, what am I showing you? Oh, yeah, please. Your photo ID, if you had a COVID test. Yeah, yeah. So, so, COVID test is here. Yep, cool, and your ID, please. My ID is, have you got the wallet, Jess? It is here. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Good. All right. Well, sure congratulations. That. Thank oh, you. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. Where do we go? Uh, straight over. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Whoa. This, that was very surreal. We've just done four hours of driving. We're going to Nelson. Nelson is the top of the South Island, but today we're only driving to Wellington. I say only, it's like over 600 kilometers from Auckland. And we're kind of the halfway point now. We've driven four hours, 312 kilometers. And this is that massive lake in the middle of the North Island, Lake Taupo. Really nice spot. We actually considered here as well when we're thinking about places outside of Auckland. Sorry about the wind. So four more hours of driving, one night in Wellington, four hours on a ferry, and then two hours driving. And then we see our house. Exciting. Just woke up. In Wellington. So, we just got up fairly early. And now we're gonna take the ferry to the South Island. Say goodbye to the North Island, Jess. Bye, North Island. Be in the South Island before you know it. Bottom of the North Island. And that's where we woke up this morning and we went all the way across the Cook Strait. Usually a very choppy part of the country because it's two oceans kind of clashing in between the two islands, but we got lucky. 
And now we're going through the sound here, Queen Charlotte Sound, and eventually to Picton. Two hours away from our future home in Nelson. All right, future, Scott Brown here. As soon as we got past the Cook Strait and into Marlborough Sounds, you could see the South Island, or like the South Island that I think of. Mountains going into water, really nice. That's a dog drinking water in the background. We are dog sitting and house sitting in this house here in Nelson. And we've been here for a week. We've got the keys to our house, which we haven't moved into yet, but will be in the coming days. But we live in Nelson, not so sunny Nelson. And yes, it is kind of hilarious that we stopped pretty much at the very top of the South Island. I was talking all this time about moving to the South. We got to the top and we stopped. <laughs> the water is right there. And if you kept going in a boat, you'd be at the North Island. But um, we're excited. We're excited about our new location and we're pumped to be here. The hardest part about this move is leaving family and friends. And part of that is like the guys that you've seen in the videos, Rich and Pido and Cameron. All those guys are still in Auckland. Um, to be honest, um, we were all moving in different directions already. Pido's setting up his own thing at the moment. I'll talk more about that in the future. Rich is doing something similar, working for himself. Cameron has been doing that the whole time. And we've just been so busy and there's been all these lockdowns I haven't had a chance to catch up with him. So it, it is a shame. Um, and I can understand if you're gonna miss those people in the videos, how do you think I feel? <laughs> They're in my real life. Uh, but we're in the same country and we purposely bought a house 10 minutes from an airport so we could jump in a plane and fly to Auckland and see family and see friends. And all those guys know that they have an open door policy when it comes to our house here in Sunny Nelson. So yeah, it's bittersweet, but um, it's just a part of life, right? Also, during this whole move process over the last couple of weeks, we hit 300,000 subscribers, which is massive milestone. So thank you very much for subscribing. You're about to enjoy a fun series of us renovating our own house and also a big shout out to those on patreon who support me and jess and the channel that's been a big help over this period where we've been trying to figure out where to go and you know subsequently moving here and buying a house so if, if you don't know what patreon is there's um, a link in the description below and you click on that and you've got access to other videos where we've talked about this move already and in the coming months we'll be putting even more content on patreon for you to check out. So in the next exciting episode, we'll show you the new house. It needs some work. It's a real do-up, but I'm excited.